Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Two Men No Hope. I'm Dan. I'm Jamie. And we're back. And thank fuck, I'd say right now, man, I was like sitting in my car. I had no idea what I was going to talk about today. <laughs> thank fuck someone emailed in, man, because I would have had nothing. We would have been sitting here just looking at each other. There would be a lot of ums and ahs. Cause yeah, I, yeah, I had, oh, yeah, I had sure. next to fuck all as well, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. It's hard when, like, the last few ones have been people asking us stuff. It's been easy to figure stuff out. Yeah. And it gives you, but... it gives you like, a direction of the show as well. That? Oh, yeah, for sure. But um, I wanted a quick shout-out to the Queen, because we get a long fucking weekend this week. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's one perk of it. Man, she's fucking quality, man. How she's still going. And now we've got to get deal with fucking Charles, haven't we, when she steps down. How old is she now? Like ninety six or something. Oh mate, yeah, she's got to be almost that fucking. There's that. There's that question in it. Like, um, when she when she hits a hundred, will she get a letter to herself? She probably email Cause herself. You... Be easy, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I put in the queen, and it gives me the band. Oh, wait, no, is how old she was. I, she has, I know she has two birthdays a year, so does that count as like she's twice the age? 96, yeah, you're right. 96. 1926, that's mental. Makes me laugh because Joe Biden's 79. <laughs> and he looks fucked. <laughs> he is fucked. He's a puppet. That's what he is, is a fucking puppet. They just put a bit of paper in front of him and he's like, what, what does this say? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see when he was talking about hooking up to Wi-Fi? It was like, if you go into this place and hook up to some Wi-Fi and then uh, uh, this happens. <laughs> I was just like, bro. The best thing he's ever done is when he was going up Air Force One and he tripped up the stairs twice. Oh, mate. <laughs> I watched that. I must have watched it about 20 times because it's only like 10 seconds long, isn't it? Yeah. Just just on repeat. <laughs> just like <it. laughs> <laughs> like an old man <laughs> anyway yeah so we get a long weekend so thank fuck because I can't handle any more of my fucking work I swear to god long weekend I've got to go to a party on Thursday a jubilee party I told we were going to get our Monday um, cancelled because mm. the boss wanted to throw some fucking trip so I went around the I went around the whole factory going oh yeah I'm going down to see Jamie we're doing a we're doing a party for the queen <laughs> just so he couldn't call me in because I'd be like I'm, I'm flying back I'm flying back what, what do you want me to do <laughs> but then everyone had the same idea and he was like oh there's too many plans people have got so we have Monday off good he needs to stop being a miserable bastard and just let people be off you weren't going to fucking come in anyway no. Who's throwing the party? Uh, Kirsty. Do you remember Kirsty? No. The one that sorted out the balloons for Charlotte's. Uh, oh. Party. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, she's. But the problem is, we've got to go red, white, and blue. Yeah. And I've opened up my wardrobe, and you know what I'm like. I wear black. Ninety-five percent <laughs> black. Um. <laughs> I was actually asked if I was gothic on the holiday, and. Uh, yeah, because no one wears black in the sun, Jamie. Other than Jamie Maltman. Other than Jamie Maltman, <laughs> I was walking around. I, I looked like swag blazing, but... <laughs> no, wait. I saw a picture of you. I I put it up in one of our YouTube videos. You were wearing a, a red shirt, weren't you? Yeah, I was wearing like a... What's it? Like a bandana type shirt. It was well, like, there you go. It was There's like red. orange and blue. I've got oh. red... I've got no blue. You've not got any jeans? No, no blue jeans. Fucking hell, man. Purely I love black blue jeans. jeans. And I just, I just can't believe it. So then what I've Mate, done... You've got crack on the old Daisy Dukes, didn't you? Yeah, I've asked Charlotte for some hot pants. <laughs> turn up. <laughs> <laughs> turn up and start twerking after an hour, of, after a few beers. <laughs> now nah, I've got... You've um... got to put that song on, um, put a ring on it, or whatever it is, by Beyonce. Is it Beyonce? Oh yeah, I'll start going like this. (laughs) (laughs) 
I got a uh, what was it called? A pit. Uh, I bought a t-shirt, a black t-shirt. Yeah. With um, the Queen's head on it, and she's wearing like Union Jack glasses. Oh, nice! So I'm hoping it will turn up. And then, but I had a delivery today, and they're like, "Oh, you've got to go pick up from the post office." I was like, "If that's not it, I'm fucked." Okay, now I started watching that uh, Pistol. It's on Disney Disney Plus. All right. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a TV show about the Sex Pistols. Oh yeah. It's quite good actually. Although the the guy they got to play um, Johnny Rotten. I think is way more over the top than Johnny was, because he was he was um, he was quite reserved. Yeah, for, until you spoke to him for a punk. Yeah, yeah, and then he'd tell you to fuck off and probably spit in your face. But in this, the guy's always like yelling and yeah, shaking his head. And I think, and Sid seems to me a bit feminine. Hmm. So I don't know, but no, it's it's quite good though. It, it's from Steve, the guitarist. Oh, he's so the one. He's the one behind it. Yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, it's like his memoirs or something. Mm. So it was quite confusing at first because I thought it was following Sid, and then they were like Steve, and I'm like, who the fuck is Steve? <laughs> I should technically know the name of the people in the Sex Pistols if we're English, but yeah, so he's the guitarist. And then it's all about how these people left and they did this and did that and blah, blah, blah. I don't want to ruin the show, but it's quite good though. If you want a proper like English, it's a bit like uh, This Is Britain, but more like music. Oh, This Is England, sorry. Oh, I might have to give it a go. Yeah, it's on that star on Disney+. Plus. They are bringing out some good stuff on that, to be fair. Well, they're, they're going the weird route, aren't they? Because didn't they have that um, Anderson... And Tommy Lee, or whatever his name Yeah, is. yeah. Like a uh, biopic of them two. Apparently yeah, that yeah. was supposed to be really good, but I haven't, I haven't got It was by uh, Seth Rogen, wasn't it? Is it Seth yeah, Rogen? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he does some quite good stuff. But, um, but yeah, so. But I spent all weekend. Um, our Twitter is now fully going. I'm trying to post like once a day. Okay. And uh, that picture I put up of you next to Rag and Bone Man from episode four... Mm. I think that that got something like one hundred, uh, one thousand, one hundred people saw it by the end of it. <laughs> but out of all those people, it was something like two people actually clicked on the on the link that was in the fucking thing. I'm like, you ignorant bastards. <laughs> but um, and our YouTube's going, and we're actually filming, well, attempting to film today's episode. Today's episode, yeah, because at the minute they're just you know us talking so hopefully we'll get both of them going and we're trying to do the podcast comes out on a friday and we're hoping that we can i can do it get the youtube video out on a monday yeah i think crossed that's the way it'll work but we'll have to see how this turns out hopefully our internet keeps up and there's no like laggy or blurry bits or anything like that see i get a little bit but i think it's just the fucking processor on this laptop that i've got i think because you're yeah, recording you i think there. you might be all right I hope so, because mine looks like it's alright. Yeah. But there's only one way to find out. But a shaky Jamie is better than no Jamie at all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, you got Some of the best times is when I'm shaky, Dan. <laughs> shaky. <laughs> <laughs> right, so our, gons- our godsend, which I still think we should keep him anonymous, because this is pretty horrendous. Yeah, I think we should definitely yeah, keep yeah. this story. And I apologise for any point in time when we laugh at this, but it's I think eventually you'll laugh as well. Yeah. Um I don't know. We should beforehand we should think of something to call these people instead of just anonymous, you know what I Because mean? it drives me mad because that word really does mad in. Right. Um I don't know. Nah, fuck it. We'll think about it another time. Any suggestions, Frank. people? Frank. <laughs> oh, that's good, actually. <laughs> right, so Frank emailed in. And he obviously he says he loves the podcast, because why wouldn't he? And uh, it says, I am in desperate need of some advice. This bit I felt was a bit like he didn't have to write this, but he did anyway. I'm an overweight, not necessary, <laughs> newly discovered gay bi man. Congratulations. And... Uh, I went on my first same-sex date from Tinder last weekend. 
It seemed to be going well, and we had chosen a steak restaurant as we both enjoyed steak. A very good choice, as we discussed in a previous episode. Steak is always a bust. However, good for first yeah, yeah. However, I got extremely drunk on wine because of my nerves, and had some quite controversial comments about politics and other hot button subjects, as well as him being bald, which didn't <laughs> seem to go down well. <laughs> Bald people don't <laughs> seem to like bald jokes. You know what I mean? Yeah, some of them haven't accepted what's going on yet. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a difference if they've shaved their head. Mm. It's all right. If you've got someone that's like hanging on to the three pieces left. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like it's flapping in the wind. And they're like, no, I'm not bald. He's about. Um, at the end of the day, he called me an Uber and shoved me in it. And we went our separate ways. Once I was home, I was shocked to discover that, looking in the mirror, that I had lost my false tooth at the front and was too drunk to notice. Absolutely horrified <laughs> and toothless. <laughs> um, wait, oh, this is the bit I didn't understand. Absolutely horrified and no, I'm toothless for over a week. So it's a constant reminder of how bad a person I am. That didn't make sense to me. Oh, I read it as, and now I'm toothless for a week. Ah, there you go. You should be reading this, Jamie, not me. Yeah, I'm not very good at reading that loud, though. <laughs> yeah, but you only said, well, neither am I, but you only said front, front two. So it's only, I think it's only one. It's not that bad. Still. If it's your front front tooth and you're sitting there giving someone jip about being bald and you've got, you've got no <laughs> tooth in your mouth, <laughs> I wonder was I wonder if he was too drunk to he maybe he did comment on it and he was just too much of the wine didn't even notice it just went <laughs> boom, where is that? Um, I really liked the guy beforehand, and I think I fucked up with my actions. Have you guys ever embarrassed yourselves or been ghosted? Do you think we should message him back? So I actually messaged Jamie earlier to get sort of like his idea because I felt like there's a certain point where you just can't message back anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's Tuesday. It's not that bad. Like, you know what I mean? You feel a bit embarrassed a couple of days later, you message back. So I we both agreed that a quick message just say, I was nervous. I'm sorry if I made a tip of myself. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I hope. We'll go a long way, really. Yeah, yeah. And you never know. Like, have you ever seen... Did you ever watch Mike and Molly? No. Ah. Oh, Mike... Uh, you know what it is, though, right? Like, yeah, the show yeah, with... Yeah. Um, what's her name? Melissa... Melissa McCarthy and the other geezer. And the other guy, yeah. And um, it's like the, they go on their first date and she's got a cold... So mm. she takes her cough medicine. The sister gives her <laughs> some tablets, and she ends up drinking as well while she's on the date. And she so fucking she slams into the table. The food goes everywhere. She's dancing and making a complete tit of herself. Jesus. And the next day, he asks her to go out because he's like, "That's the best date I've ever been on." <laughs> so, you know, it's not. I know that's a TV show, but you never know. He could be waiting for you to call him back. Could be. It might not even be a big deal to him either. No, everything seems a lot worse when you're pissed as well. And people have like different levels of like getting drunk in public can really embarrass like a certain person. But for other people, they might not be that too bothered. It depends how relaxed they are as a person, I think. I don't know. I don't think I've ever really met any relaxed ball people. <laughs> I think that was just bad Tinder swiping on your part, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but um i struggle with this one uh the ghost in uh, yeah I, that's a new thing and it's a horrible new thing you wouldn't have experienced ghosting jamie from when you were back in the day dating the closest thing that i could think of uh something like that happening is when i would be chatting to a girl on msm for a little while and then i'd meet up with her in person and then never fucking see or hear from her again after that yeah but i think to me, ghosting is more like the very first. Like, I've been talking to someone for like a week or two weeks and it's... Actually, I had one a little while ago. We were talking every day. Mm. And then 
on the day of me supposed to meet be meeting her up, I was like, oh, are we still cool to go for a coffee at, I don't know, one o'clock or whatever? She read the message and then blocked me on WhatsApp <laughs> and then deleted me off Tinder. Fucking but then hell. the same day, she popped up on my Facebook going, and it said, people you might know. And I thought to myself, oh, I could be a dick and message her on Facebook and be like, oh, I think something happened there. Is WhatsApp not working? Well, I was like, I'll fucking leave it. <laughs> but yeah, it's a new, uh, like, it's massive now at the minute. Like, people like ghosting left, right, and center. It's disgusting. Like, especially if you've been talking to someone. And then like, that time in. Yeah, yeah. And then you just don't fucking turn up and then that's it. Uh, you know what I mean? I don't. Uh, after the first time. Okay, I, I've done it. Like, I get overwhelmed and I sort of shut down. Yeah. And then by the time I go back to message him and say, I'm sorry, I. In my, you know what I mean? My brain was going a bit fucked up. They don't want to talk to me anymore. But, uh, yeah, the very first time when you built up that sort of like, oh, I really like this person. It's going to be a good day, blah, blah, blah. Mm. And they don't fucking turn up. Especially if you've gone there. They haven't bothered to tell you they're not going to turn up. Oh, that's bad, like proper standing you up. Yeah, yeah. Fuck and I think that's quite a horrible thing, this, uh, ghosting. It's quite a, a strong word to use. It's like a it's like a new type of rejection, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Especially the fact that people have been locked in their house for so long as well. And you come yeah, out so and they're not going to appreciate getting mugged off. No. But, yeah, so I've dealt with it quite a lot, but... I struggled with the embarrassing dates. I wasn't much of a a dater. I can deal with like embarrassing sex stories. <laughs> I can't say that I had too many meals. <laughs> <laughs> Not I don't style. think I've like I was talking to Charlotte about it. I don't think I've ever done anything embarrassing on a date. I've done loads of embarrassing stuff in public. And yes. showing myself up a few times, like I was saying about, there was a time that I went out on a night out with a new group of guys, and I was with Little Joe, do you remember Little Joe? Mm-hmm. And he put me into a taxi, because I was that fucked up, because what happened was, I was drinking on an empty stomach, I hadn't eaten in two weeks, I'd only been on Light of Life. Oh, I remember that, so, yeah. Yeah. And he put me in a taxi one side, and I got out the taxi the other side and put him back in the taxi. <laughs> <laughs> Some Houdini shit. Yeah. Like, How the fuck and then I, I told him? him to, I told him to fuck off, and then I went down the road and uh, got kicked out of a chicken shop, and then eventually made my way home. But um, I've done shit like that. I was wearing like light. Gr- Do you remember them beige fucking terrible chinos that? You- people used to wear yeah you're obsessed with i used to wear them all the time Mm -hmm. i went to the casino after a night out once and when i went to the toilet i just pissed all all down the whole brown chinos (laughs) and then like had to make my way out of the casino and then i ran into a girl that i was chatting to that night and i was standing there with totally covered in piss and i was just like this is embarrassing (laughs) (laughs) i need to get out of it (laughs) <laughs> and my cousin just bundled me into a taxi and was like go home and I was like bruv jeez that's why you never wear light clothes when you go out yeah because you... I totally missed the urinal and just pissed straight down my leg didn't it? I just couldn't <laughs> believe it there's always that fucking when you're drunk as well like you're pissing like a racehorse it's all like splashback as well yeah you're not you ain't stopping it once you're going you ain't stopping yeah the only one I could think of was this t- I went on a date do you remember that girl I was talking to that was in uh, worked in the dentist next door? Yeah. Yeah, I went on a date with her and we went to an Italian. And this was before I knew that I had a problem with dairy. <laughs> Shit. So we got on the train and we went to St. Albans. It's like half an hour away or whatever. And we went to Italian and I had carbonara or something like that. Something like really fucking cream and cheese. and Yeah. And we were like, oh, let's go back to yours to hers because I was living with uh, with cubs yeah they go back to yours and we watch some telly or something or whatever and I was like oh, I'm going to try it on and then as we got we got back on the train I was fine we are walking back to hers and I'm like oh fuck like, I really need to go to the fucking toilet and like I was sweating 
no. anyone that's got any problem with dairy or anything like that you know exactly what i'm talking about and i got in i was sort of like oh i'm really sorry i need to, to use your toilet and she's like oh that's fine i went in and i swear i tore myself in half go to the <laughs> toilet and like I, it's just that moment <laughs> like you've got a certain time frame where they realize that you're not peeing <laughs> so it's just like a boom, just trying to get it out and then you come out and you're like Whew. and I was okay after that but I'm <laughs> fuck it it's horrifying man like I bet I didn't even cover it for a while because I'll tell you right now it weren't pretty sighted there mother of god it's always going to the toilet with me but yeah I couldn't think of it there was a time as well where I met with a girl that I was talking to we went to um, a dessert place in town mm. and it was going really well and she was like oh my mates are in the student union did you want to come over and I was like yeah sure let's go we get there and they're younger than me and I was a knobhead back then <laughs> well I still am a knobhead but I was a, an outrageous knobhead back then so I was drinking whiskey and they're talking shit and the guy's like oh I don't like anyone I don't like anyone in a group of like 15 people and I'm just like, shut up, you cunt. <laughs> like, and I'm just like, I've ruined this now, so I might as well just keep going. And I'm like, how, how, how can you not like anyone when you're sitting in a group of fucking mates? Like, you're talking about your ass, mate. <laughs> uh, he worked in Asda oh, on the yeah. fish counter. I, I, I always remember, I don't know why I remember that. He had a fucking nose piercing. But yeah, he so worked... that was, you probably would have ran into him a few times after. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did, yeah. Fucking, just that t- typical, like, oh, I don't like anyone. I'm just like, fuck off. I did it once where we were, me and you were in park together. And we were with, like, a group of your old mates. And I really was into the bar girl, the barmaid. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was, like, absolutely annihilated. Shouldn't have even been speaking to myself, let alone her. <laughs> and... <laughs> I was like, can I take your number? And she was like, no. And then I asked her about seven times for the rest of the night. And then she eventually said yes. But I was so drunk, I couldn't type the number into my phone. And I was just standing there. And she kept saying like the numbers. And I was putting the wrong number. And then she said, oh, fucking forget it. Don't worry about it. And I was like, oh, mate, I've blown it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the time. I would just hand her the phone. I'd be like, go and put it in. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Yeah, yeah. In hindsight, is a fucking brilliant thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking horrendous I was thinking about a story though when he said about missing teeth oh, right. there's, there's this um, girl I went to school with and um, she was dating this guy funny enough his name was Dan and he told her a story about his ex and um, he was a real like slimy fucking looting boy you know what I mean mm. And um, apparently this girl had, like, caught him cheating. Well, she found out that he was cheating. So they went to sleep, and he had, like, a full set of, like, top and bottom false teeth because he was a dirty fucking druggie. So uh, in the middle of the night, she got up, and she got his falsies, and she put it in the toilet and flushed him down the toilet, <laughs> and then just fucking left. Oh, mate. How fucking good is that? <laughs> like, <laughs> they got to be gummy boy for fucking God knows how many weeks until you get your teeth back. Until you get new ones, yeah. Fucking, I'd be so upset. I wouldn't, yeah, go, was, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go to college or nothing. <laughs> Do you, I bet he was the sort of, because I don't think they would flush flush. I don't, because they're curved, didn't they? Yeah, probably not. They'd probably sit bet, at the bottom of the bowl. Yeah, yeah. I bet he's a dirty bastard that would take him out and wash him and then put him back in his mouth again. I did. <laughs> that was like, for the email, that was like a fucking... I was reading through it and I was like, this is like slightly amusing because I could imagine me going through the exact same turmoil. Mm-hmm. And uh, then when they said about the tooth being missing the whole time, I just I, it just threw me over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> you got to wonder where it came out. That'd be my that'd be my only sort of look back. I'd be like, at what point did my teeth fall out? Like, I was like, it would it be? Could you, uh, my first thought was like, did he eat it? Because it, he could have got sunk into a steak and he ate the spit of steak. That's true. Yeah, I've swallowed. When I was younger, I swallowed a tooth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, steak isn't probably the best thing to eat if you're if you got false tooth. If you got false tooth, yeah. 
Uh. It happened to me once where I was getting a, a haircut. I was like a little kid. I was getting a haircut down in Hightown. And the geezer was talking to me, talking to me, talking to me. And then his two front teeth were false and they landed on the top of my head. <laughs> I can imagine you just getting up and leaving. <laughs> I was like, I just remember sitting there and my mum was like, oh, oh, um, just don't look, Jamie. And I'm going, what, what, what? <laughs> I just started feeling the wetness on the top of my head. Oh. I was like, oh, that. fucking horrible, man. <laughs> and I was that thrown off that I was convinced this kid was sitting on my jacket. So I was like pulling the jacket from underneath this child, but it was his coat, and mum, my mum was standing there with my her, my coat in her hand, didn't it? And I was yanking this coat from underneath this kid, and he was like, he was like crying and shit, and I was like, just give me my coat. Jesus Christ! I hope you didn't go back there, man. I went there for years, mate. Years oh, is that the that. Turkish place in the village? No, nah, no, nah, I still go there. Um... It used to be called... I can't remember what it was called. It was called The Barber or something. It used to be on Hightown Road. Oh, no. Like I said before, I don't like people touching my hair. I get my mum to do it. Yeah. I used to when I was younger, but not anymore. Yeah, but I just shaved my hair off, innit? I like a good skin fade, Dan, as you know. Oh, yeah, you and your skin fades, yeah. Nah, fuck that, man. I can't handle that sort of stuff. I don't know. I just... I don't know. It freaks me out. It just freaks me out. Like, what if he's enjoying it? Why, why is he getting his jollies running his fucking fingers through my head? I'm sure he's not enjoying it that much. I can, I can imagine there's a lot more people in this world that he'd want to rub his hands through. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, I think you've pretty much blown it with this guy, though. It's a... Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's probably an 85% chance you fucked it. Um... There's always a chance. And if they're not willing to meet up with you after this, they're not worth it anyway. So don't worry. Yeah. Move for sure. on to the next one. Yeah. I mean, you you've got... been on some fucking. You and Charlotte have been some fucking hell nights and you're still together. Oh, yeah. There's been times where you were there one night when Charlotte knocked two whole pizzas out of my hand after a drunken night out. Oh, mate, that was the. That was a Christmas party. <laughs> that was fun. I still tell people about that, man. Because, like, she was asleep in, while you were waiting for the pizza, and it was because you woke her up that she was all fucking... She got aggy. Yeah, yeah. And then it was the look on your face whether to save the pizzas on the floor or give her a slap. <laughs> You're just like, what do I do? All Can I remember, because we were getting into the taxi, and she slapped yeah. them straight out of my hand. And I was just looking at her looking at the pizzas go down and I was just like what do I do I just remember sitting in the back of the taxi scraping pizza into the pizza box <laughs> like a fucking orangutan that was like the only place that you could get something like a 16 inch pizza with two toppings for something like £5 or something like yeah. that wasn't it it was like yeah. dirt cheap dirt cheap it used to take ages because they'd do it in front of you oh man I miss days like that didn't you go home and then reorder food and then you fell asleep or something yeah that's exactly what happened. Yeah. And I, I fell asleep on the sofa. A Kieran had to come downstairs and let the guy like open the door to the guy. And then he was like, Are you gonna eat that? And I was like, No. And he was like <laughs> <laughs> He started like declining the recliner because I was reclined on the chair and he declined it and then I just like flopped onto the floor <laughs> like a fucking fish. <laughs> and I just got up and yeeted it in the bin. Oh man, fuck that. I remember when I went to Canada the first time, they do that whole 30 minutes or less and it's free. Oh, right, yeah. And me and, me and Jim were absolutely wrecked and we got back, we ordered pizza and we were sitting on the porch and it was like, oh man, I've, I've got to go to fucking bed. And he's like, yeah, right then. <laughs> and then it turned up the next morning, no like way. five hours later, and his mum answered the door and she turned him away. No! She was like, oh, no, they don't want it. And he took the pizza away. And we were like, but it was free. Why no. did you keep it? It was free. No, it's gone. Couldn't believe it. Even his dad was like, why did you do that? Absolutely <laughs> bummy. Oh, there's been loads of times like that, man. Like, there used to be a chicken shop in town. Because obviously Luton's known for his chicken shops. Um, there used to be a chicken shop in town where you could get two chicken burgers, two pounds. And obviously, when you're at 3am 
and you're annihilated, that's the best deal you've ever heard of. And then you order the most amount of food you can. Yeah. (laughs) And I just remember sitting there and just like opening it all up and then I'll just throw it and start throwing at people. (laughs) And then the little men would tell me off and I'll just pick my other burger out and throw it at him and I'll be like, shut the fuck up. (laughs) You're a fucking idiot. The best story was when um, you told me you got banned from Uber. Oh, what was Charlotte? Yeah, going through McDonald's. That was after a funeral, an Irish funeral, yeah, and uh, it was supposed to be a controlled one, as it always supposed to be is, and then it was 4am, we'd been to the gay bar and everything, Mm -hmm. Um, because in the UK, I don't know about in the US, but all the pubs and that shut, so everyone goes to gay bars because they stay open later, but anyway, we went to the gay bar. Shark lost the coat and everything. We, I decided to get an Uber home. And this is when Uber was just starting, really. And uh, we were going through the McDonald's drive through and <laughs> I was sitting in the front with the geezer. Shark's in the back, yeah. And Shark just keeps shouting, Chicken nuggets! Like, <laughs> really, loud. <laughs> really loud, yeah. <laughs> And then we were sitting at this thing and it was one of them bigger ones where it has like three different windows. Mm-hmm. But the first window they weren't using, but the skeezer weren't clocking onto this, innit? And I was just sitting there on my phone, not even paying attention. Shark's kicking off in the back. And then Shark rolls down a window and then tries to climb through the uh, Toyota Yaris <laughs> window. No, Toyota Prius window into McDonald's through the fucking drive through window. <laughs> <laughs> shouting chicken nuggets and I was like Jesus Christ and then um, he's trying to boot me out of the Uber I said mate I've paid you I've paid my money you're buying us McDonald's well we're, we're buying McDonald's and you're taking us home and he yeah. was like no get out get out here get out I said I'm not getting out I'm not getting out the car I said move over to the next window so he ordered it we got our McDonald's went home and then the following week we were going out somewhere else I was like, oh, let me just book an Uber. Booked an Uber. It says you were banned for six months. <laughs> I was like, I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> he must have put so in good. a written complaint against me. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. I don't know how even that worked, because we don't, can't get Uber here. What, at all? No. Fucking hell, it's man. Not, it's in Edinburgh, but you can't get it in, like, Fife or anything like that. Okay, now you'll catch up soon. But it makes you laugh because you can get Uber Eats. So what's the difference? You know what I mean? It's basically the same thing because it's the same drivers, I think. Yeah, it's the same system, isn't it? It's the same app. That's strange. It'd be a lot easier if you could get out. Uber, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, because I said the other day, didn't I, that um, when me and Hannah went to the uh, the restaurant. Oh, yeah, you had to village. get a different taxi back. Yeah, because they were just like, nah. You're like, what do you mean, nah? I don't think I've ever heard a taxi person going, nah, I'm not picking you up before. Just like, nah. I've had a... Uh, because obviously down my, where I live, you know, we're down like a back road, isn't it? Behind some houses. Mm. In a slightly... Not, not too bad, but not a little bit sketchy area. And... Uh, when I was standing down there with a few of the lads, the Uber driver would not come down the fucking alleyway. He was not picking us up in it. <laughs> <laughs> there was about three, there was about three times where it's happened to me where they wouldn't come down the alleyway, and I had to walk out to the main street. And he's like, "Come out to the street," and I'm like, "This is my street." It's not even an alleyway. Like it's just a. It looks like a driveway. Yeah. But I think they're scared because obviously there's garages and shit there. They think they're going to get robbed or something. As though they've got anything I want. Probably earn more than them. Well, yeah. You can steal their car. Time to a tree. Time to a tree for two, hour, <laughs> for two days. Let their wives look for them. <laughs> Out front of your house. Be like, oh, mate, you're still hanging there. What are you doing, man? Go home. <laughs> you fucking tied me here. I'm just listening to NWA in his fucking Prius. <laughs> Not even drive away. No. Just sit there next to him, having a smoke in his car. <laughs> oh man, talking of smoke. So I, 
in the mornings uh, on my first break, I always go for a jobby after I've had my breakfast. Mm. And um, there's this guy that you, I don't know how we time it, but he always comes out, and then I go in after him. And like, I swear to God, because he's a smoker, that when he goes for a jobby, like it smells like smoke. What the hell? Yeah, you're a smoker. When you go to the toilet, does it smell like smoke? No, no. I don't know. Not what. That he must I've be smoking anyway. in there. He must have like an e-cigarette in there with him. Maybe that's what he's doing. That, he might be doing that. Yeah. Because I'm like, man, how how is that even possible? Like, it must come out and it's steaming. <laughs> so he's no got to be he's got smoking fucking a flies fucking in, there. Cigarette in there. Yeah. Do you remember we used to work with a woman that used to fucking smoke in the toilet? I wish I could have caught her. <laughs> she knew wish. that because we were all guys that we couldn't go in. Yeah, yeah. She'd go There's in there for about like 25 one, yeah. minutes and fucking smoke her brains out. Yeah, but she was also getting like loan collectors to come and collect money while she's working. Do you remember that? Yeah. She's like, oh, I need to go on my break. I need to go on my break. And you're like, no, it's not your turn. Mm. And she just fuck off. You know, and the guy would be looking for her. Oh, it's so-and-so in. Yeah, she just <laughs> ran out the back. It's like, Jesus Christ, man. It's fucking mental. I was laughing. I was like, uh, when he said that he's newly discovered gay boy and I was thinking to myself oh I went through that thinking I was bi phase when I was back in the day <laughs> fucking hell <laughs> when uh back when I was in school obviously I'm a few only a few years older than you mm. like it was cool like people would be like oh yeah I'm bi and you're like oh he's a bit edgy so it was like getting wrecked in that and then you just fucking make out with everyone so I, you know I've been down that road made, like, made a couple guys so one one night I was like oh I'm gonna see if I am by and I go and grind her didn't put a picture or nothing in just put like <laughs> I, I think I put curious which is probably thinking back is a bad word to put when you're on a fucking predatory website yeah 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 and I swear to god I like I literally went accept profile and then I just get three messages from three different guys and they're just like dick 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 and I'm like oh I've got the I've got dick fear now as so I was like quickly uninstall I can't handle this <laughs> So, um, and I never went back again. <laughs> I stay with the ladies. Well, that's how you know. You, that's how you learn. You're straight. Oh, mate, dick fear is the worst. I'm never fucking. It's that thing again where you want to be the biggest guy. When people start fucking flinging, I understand how women feel now on dating sites with unsolicited dick pics. Just throwing them about like they're nothing. Just throwing them about, man. Handing them out it's like the they're fear in it. Mate, fucking hell. I didn't think that men still did that. Do they still send dick pics constantly? A lot of the profiles say, like, I don't want to see your penis, and I don't want to see this, and I don't want to see that. Maybe they do. They must do. And people have got some balls, man. I don't mind showing mine, but I'm not just going to fucking... Oh, she looks all right. Wang, there's my penis. Yeah, like, where's that going to get you? It's not going to get you anywhere. No. So I don't understand it, but fucking hell. It freaked me out, man. I still think about it. (laughs) (laughs) Laying in your bed sweating at night. Having... Yeah, sweating, yeah. I hope no one knows where I am. Did I remember to put where the... hide my location, Jamie? Right, so I was trying to stay away from the whole Amber Heard, Johnny Depp thing. All right. But it's almost over. I and can't I was believe how myself, long it's been going on. Somebody, I was reading on the index, I wanted to know when it was going to end. It said it was going on from April. It can't be gone that long. It must have been. When was April? What date? What month is it now? May, I think. Yeah, last month. Yeah, it's been going on over a month. He's in. He's in the UK at the minute, isn't he? Oh, is he? What filming? No, no, he's at some concert playing guitar or something. I'm sure, I saw it this morning. But um, that's not the point I was getting. I was thinking to myself, if you if you did a crime, we'll get to what crime in a minute. What celebrity would you want to be to get out of it? Would I want to be? Yeah. Say like you're in a car accident. Who who do you think is going to be the best actor to get you out of it? To get me out of it? Yeah, so like for me anything I did I'd want to be Tom Hanks. <laughs> the man's a fucking he can talk his way out of anything man he can he? 
his films are legendary. Yeah, true. He could kill someone and sit there and be like, I didn't do it. Oh, he didn't do it. Because <laughs> you got Amber Heard so bad. That, like, have you seen everyone's doing that? My dog stepped on a bee. Yeah. And then she does that. Where she's like, my dog stepped on the bee. And she goes... <laughs> yeah. Like her acting so bad <laughs> that people just want to say that she did it purely because she's so crap. <laughs> Yeah, you know I mean, and then Johnny Depp's really like sort of charismatic and a bit sort of sassy. Yeah, and everyone's like, yeah, you know I mean, so you get Tom Hanks up there, he could be whatever you wanted. Yeah, you know I mean, I've killed someone, I'd be like this. Yeah, you know I mean, hit and run, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> the same with uh, Patrick Stewart. Yeah, Patrick Stewart could get away with it. Yeah, with anything. I think Ian McKellen. Yeah, I'd give you that. He's pretty good. Yeah, I'd sit there. Mate. I'd just be like, well, you, you didn't see nothing at all. Can you imagine it was Ian McKellen versus Patrick Stewart? <laughs> That'd be like the longest fucking trial in history. Yeah. The jury wouldn't know what to do with themselves. They'd be like... <laughs> I just don't think anything would happen. <laughs> <laughs> they just give up. <laughs> uh, neither of them are guilty we've got the wrong people here <laughs> thank you they just both walk out yeah <laughs> hand in hand <laughs> but then like I think to myself if you've got someone like that that you think you get with er- with anything mm. who's on the opposite scale obviously Amber Heard but we can't have her because she's already on I say um, that bitch that was in Hunger Games Jennifer Lawrence oh really She's got one of them faces that you just think, you're a cow. She sat in that witness box, she'd be like, you did it. You did it straight away. Did you see that thing where she had like, a little dog, she was coming out of like an airport or something, and a photographer tried to like, stroke it, and she fucking whacked him, or like spat on him or something, was like, don't fucking do that, and got in a taxi and drove off. (laughs) No, I didn't see that. It's like, all he's trying to do is say hello to your fucking dog, love, don't be fucking... She's that Hollywood now, she's not having it. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So Hollywood stars, there's there's a few. I think um, who's the geezer that got dumped for uh, trying it on with young lads? There's a list, Jamie. I could just I'll put it down. <laughs> You're talking about recently. Um, he was in Kevin House... Spacey. Yeah, that's it. Oh mate, come on, Kevin. Oh, so he's on the border, isn't he? He's a bit slimy, but he's also a bit. Yeah, like... that, that's what I've never liked about him. Like. There's a few movies that he's been in where they've been good movies and it's just like, he's a little bit off key. And then when that come out, I was like, that's why I thought he was off key. It's, I was laughing, right? Because obviously he got, it first come out because there was some guy in the new Star Trek. Yeah, the blonde, the blonde fella, yeah. Yeah. So he, you know, disappeared for ages and then I saw a trailer of a film Kevin Spacey's in. All right. And I got in the car with Scott, I take to work, and I was like, oh, you see Kevin Spacey's back and acting. And he's like, nah, he's fiddling, isn't he? I was like, no, I saw the trailer the, the other day. And then the same day, he got back in the car at the end of the day and he was laughing. He goes, oh, you know, your man Spacey. I'm like, would you be my man Spacey? <laughs> he's like, he's only just got uh, done for four counts of sexual harassment or whatever it was and I was like oh it looks like they're going to have to black him out of that movie then they <laughs> just cut his <laughs> do the old do the old Amber Heard on him <laughs> cut him out if they put Amber Heard in, in Aquaman 2 I'll be fucking shocked no because wasn't there something like 3 million um, signatures to get her taken out yeah but you know what DC's fucking uh, um, things are like yeah but I'm sure they've already had the uh the meeting what to kick her out yeah she don't deserve the role anyway like if you if if she weren't with um johnny and this all weren't kicking off and you said who's amber heard and they and you and then you said to me oh it's the one out of uh aquaman i still wouldn't know who you're fucking talking about she had quite a big part in that i was surprised to be honest yeah, but I didn't. I didn't like for, li- like looking back on it. I can't really remember much about her at all. 
I knew who she was because I saw her in that drive angry with Nicolas Cage and she was fan. So I knew who she was. Yeah, she's got that crazy look, Dan. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously she's fucked it. So I was <laughs> I was thinking to myself, uh oh, I'll go back to all of her films and I'll rewrite them as her as the starring role. <laughs> so <laughs> she's in that drive angry. I call it turd angry. <laughs> it's her with explosive diarrhea running around you know what I mean trying to hold it in and then Aquaman could be turd man or well, aqua turd actually that's better aqua turd, aqua turd. <laughs> <laughs> her in a scuba suit trying to find a toilet to use because <laughs> <laughs> um, they're saying that she's un- unemployable wouldn't they yeah I tell you, mate, it won't be long until she gets a fucking OnlyFans. Yeah, that that will be the ne- the next stage for her. Or she'll do like a load of TMZ things, like just uh, sullying his name. Still, I don't know if they'll they'll put something in place so she can't do that because that's what this whole thing's about, right? Like she did that article that sort of ruined his reputation, and that's why sooner. Yeah, that's what you'd assume, but you know what this fucking world's like, man. I think in a year's time... Do you remember Paul McCarthy had that woman with one leg? No. Well, Paul McCarthy... Is it McCarthy or McCartney? Paul McCartney... Isn't that the... Is it any the singer? He's the beat from the Beatles. The Beatles, yeah. He had some woman with one leg. He was married to her for years. And then they decided to divorce, yeah. Mm. And she didn't get as much money as she thought she should. So then she, like, basically slagged him off to the media and said that he beat her up and all this type of shit. And then um, after they went through a very similar trial, but not so public, because obviously it's not American. And once that was all done, never heard from her again. I think she's been on this morning a few times talking about random bullshit. But I've never heard from her again. Yeah, but the amount of money that she probably would have got, you wouldn't need to hear from her again. No. She limped off with her one leg and fucked off out the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. That's fucking mental. But yeah, no, I'm still fucking waiting. Yeah, I don't understand what they need to deliberate about, whether it's good. Like, it's, he's won. Yeah, there's nothing to say. There's nothing more to no. say. She is the a fact, nutcase. The fact she was beating on her sister as well. Do you know what I mean? And then did... Huh? <laughs> did, you, did you see the clip? I don't remember if I talked to you about this. Did you see the clip, yeah, where they were showing that um, he apparently destroyed, like, the side of the bed with his boot or something? And then oh, she, and then there's a picture of, like, a pocket knife. There's a pocket knife on the bed in her picture. <laughs> And then she was like, is that a pocket knife on the bed, Miss Heard? And, Miss... and she's sitting there going... <laughs> pouting. And I'm just like, you fucking silly bitch. I don't understand why she has to talk to the jury either. That, like... That's what she decides to do, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, because Johnny Depp talks to the lawyer. The absolute is... sass coming out of her mouth as well when she's like, yes, and, uh, and that's what happened, yes. And that's what I'm like, shut up. Fuck it. The whole case was that. Who the fuck was that old bloke she got up that had like the dry mouth? <laughs> he just kept going. I'm telling you now, Dan, he was 100% on cocaine's a hell of a drug, Dan. Yeah, yeah. He had like the driest mouth you could ever fucking. And then there's that footage of someone's turned the sound up <laughs> and uh, of him leaning in and going, Is there anything I'm not supposed to lie about? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Someone send that to the judge and it just end this fucking case because he's a fucking nightmare. I think I wouldn't be surprised yet if Johnny saw him in the toilets just before they went in and Johnny's like, oh, Do you fancy a tablet, mate? <laughs> just him a tablet and then let him fall <laughs> apart on the stand. <laughs> Did you see the next day when uh, everyone's getting ready and everyone's come in and Johnny Depp and his lawyer are sitting there mimicking him doing the mouth thing? <laughs> No, I haven't seen that. <laughs> Just like taking the piss. <laughs> and there was that Absolutely part as well where 
they had like the guy that's behind some like cryptocurrency or something was on the on the stand, and the lawyer was like, "Is this your fifteen minutes of fame sitting on the stand?" And he was like, "Oh, the TMC fella." Yeah, yeah, that's it. And he was like, "I don't think it is. I've I've probably got a lot more money than most people in this room, so I don't really need to." Um, have that 15 minutes of fame. He was like, if anything, it's your 15 minutes of fame for taking Herd's case. And I was just like, oh, shit. Well, did you see the the footage of her lawyer in the crowd of, like, a, an appearance of Johnny Depp? And she's, like, screaming. No, I didn't see like, that. Like, trying to get hold of him. Yeah, she's fucking there. It's fucking baffling. It's got to be one of the oddest things i've ever like been through watching and i've watched the entire thing through tiktok yeah and everything i've seen it's just like how was this even still going do you know what i mean yeah no it's baffling because they've tried to stop it a couple of times and even johnny depp his side tried to stop it like last wednesday and they just but i think the judges the judges got to the point where he's like She's like, uh, we've almost finished. Like, why would I stop it now? It's yeah. I mean, but even she's bored. You can see a bit where like they're talking and she's like playing with a pencil, <laughs> like moving it round. Because <laughs> it was just some fucking toxic ass relationship, man. You should never have been together. And that's the end no. of that. Because I, I don't get me wrong. In my past, yeah, I've had some real like stinkers of like. Of, like horrible relationships where we just spent the whole time doing like little nitty bitty petty bullshit but some of the stuff she was doing filming him the whole time as well was beyond it yeah because you're only going to do that if you know you're going to use it against him yeah I had I went out with a girl and she was off her nut we'd argue like all the time but I remember once she was she locked herself in my toilet when I had my little garage conversion. Mm. And um, she's like, I'm going to fucking kill myself. And I'm just like, don't be fucking stupid, love. <laughs> and she's like, I'm not going to fucking do it. And I'm just open the door. And she's like, no. So I fucking, it was just a, you know, the shitty like bolt locks thing. Like it's like nothing. So I just fucking ripped the door open. And she's only pushed out the plastic from her glasses which is like curved and smooth and she's trying to fucking slice her wrist with it <laughs> Fuck and I'm just hell, like man. I'm just like just come out when you're done and I closed the door and went to bed <laughs> <I'm just> like, <laughs> fuck me like where, how did I get so low she tried to throw herself off the bridge in, in the town as well you know that that bridge that's only like what a story high the bus is going underneath it oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. If, out in front of the hotel where we had the Christmas party. Mm. Yeah, she tried to throw herself off there as well. I had to call the police. Fucking the hell, The police man. took her back to Hitchin, and then she got in a taxi and come back to mine. <laughs> Damn, that is fucking toxic. I'm just, I just can't handle stuff. You know I, mean? I had a girlfriend once that, when I was telling her that I was leaving, or I was leaving her. We were in my bedroom, and my mum used to do this thing where if I brought a girl back to the house, because I was young, that I weren't allowed to close the bedroom door. And she was standing, like, fully on my single bed, because I was still, like, a little kid in it. Well, not a little kid, teenager. And she's just started repeatedly punching herself in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, what the fuck is going on? I, I thought she was going to try and blame me for, like, hurting her or something. So then I'm, like, trying to stop her. And she just walk as I'm walking her down the stairs. She's like continuously punching, and I just open the front door, or bunged her out, and fucking close the door. And I thought, well, fuck that, I'm not, not speaking to her again. <laughs> That's brilliant. The best. I think we'd only just started being friends, um, and you were like seeing a girl in Scotland. Oh yeah. And then you went on holiday with her. Oh man. And um, you know where I'm going, don't you? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and you come back and I was like oh how was it and you were like oh I found out she was cheating on me on holiday and I was like oh fuck and you were like yeah I kicked her out of the house and told her to find her way back to Scotland on her own <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like what so you just shut the door and he was like, and you were like yeah she can just get a fucking bus or something can't she you can fuck off 
<laughs> she's like 480 miles from her house and you was like go home she called me crying from the train I remember and then like, I was crying it was like an emotional wreck but that was horrific that was like that was one of the worst things I've ever done like going on holiday with someone that I found that cheated on me yeah because wasn't it near the beginning of the holiday it was like the night of us going so I found out I looked at her phone on the night we were going out there and I was like, what the fuck? And I like, still I like tried to like, be like, oh, let's try and put things back together. Then I found out she was calling him the whole time we're out there and it was fucking doing my nut in. Fucking hell. Surprisingly, yeah, no, I just couldn't believe it. Down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. I was, I was absolutely gobsmacked, but I understand it. But yeah, and no, I just thought, oh, fucking hell. Talking of bad first dates, bringing it back to the. Um, initial, oh, I jogged your memory, Jamie. The initial question, yeah. <laughs> you jogged my memory. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a first date, it was more like meet up to kind of like figure out whether I'm taking it back to mine type of situation. And um, it was like, do you remember there was always like a girl that would be like, oh, I've got to bring my friend. And you meet, oh, up, what, you, yeah, you meet, meet up with her up, and yeah. her friend, and we were sitting in town in in the fucking galaxy. Just, we were going to be playing pool or something together. I can't remember what it was. And she never said from the time she turned up. She said, "Hey, we were together for three hours, Dan." She never said one fu- one fucking word to me once. Never spoke to me once. So what, were you just talking to the mate then, or just nothing? I was talking to the friend a little bit. But we're just awkwardly playing pool in silence. And then everything I'd say, she'd be like nodding and like doing like the shy tee hee type bullshit. And I just remember going, <laughs> going back. <laughs> and my mum was picking me up from outside the front of the galaxy, yeah. And I was just like, mum, is it normal for girls not to speak to you on a date? <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, Are you telling me you haven't spoke to her this whole time? And I was like, yeah, she gave me, she said hey and did not say another fucking word. Jesus Christ, man. I'll be like, nah, I'll be out. But I think it was out. like the pure desperate of trying to like, I've been talking to her for ages online before that. And it's just like nothing. And then when we got back, I just said to her, it's not worth it, is it? And she was like, no. I was like, okay, block. (laughs) (laughs) Bye-bye. I had that fucking back in the day of old MySpace. Yeah. And I was talking to her, and it was like a proper catfish. Like a photo was like, oh, she looks really nice in that. (laughs) And I was like, oh, I'm I'm going to a party. Like, you should come come along. Mm-hmm. And she was like, yeah, 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 that's great. And then she, I met her before in the village to walk down to the party. And she got off the bus and I was like, fuck. She's fucked me here. <laughs> so, I, so I took her to the party and I just fucking, I went off. Took her to the party and she was talking to everyone else and I just wandered off. Left her there. And then, but no, by the time I was drunk, I was like, right, let's go then. <laughs> <laughs> we went back to mine. <laughs> back in the days of being a horrible bastard. <laughs> you know what I mean? She was nice and everything, but I hate that. Like, That's why I don't do filters and pictures or anything like that. It's like, that. Nah, I'm not speaking to you. Yeah, there was, a, there was a time... Well, I didn't know at the time I was getting catfished, but we were chatting for a little while and it fizzled out. And then I somehow got chatting to someone that knew her and I went to a gig... And there was a, at the same gig, she turned up and she was like, I was chatting to all the, like her friends and all this stuff. And then this girl would come up to me and she was like, Hey Jamie. And I was like, Hey, like no recognize, no recognizing at all. Do not recognize <laughs> her whatsoever. And she was like, it's a, uh, I better not say her name. It's so-and-so. And I was like, ah, and I was like, <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I was like, how are you doing? And then, like, I tried to play it off, but then I just, I remember saying to one of the guys later that night, I was like, I fucking dodged a bullet there. But she looked nothing like a picture whatsoever. No, that's the worst thing, man. And you can't fucking, 
I a couple of years, well obviously a couple of years ago so before COVID was talking to a girl and she had like these crazy like blue eyes and that mm. and then she turned up she was like massive and everything and then I was still talking to her because I still enjoy talking to her even though she didn't look like how she was supposed to mm. and I was like oh, how long have you been single for and she's like two weeks I'm red like, flag <laughs> and then that's when it started then I'm getting fucking phone calls at like one o'clock in the morning because mm. she's been, had an argument with him and in the end I just kept ignoring him put my phone on silent she stopped ringing you start slipping into friend zone then as well isn't it? oh mate just fucking two weeks There's, you should not be on a dating site two weeks you need some time for yourself you know what I mean I think a lot of people do though. There's a lot of people I know that just jump from relationship to relationship. Oh yeah, I know him too. There's a guy in um I went to high school with, he'd like dated everyone in like his classroom. <laughs> like and he'd he proposed to every other one of them. <laughs> and uh and then a few years later Dom Dom messaged me and he was like, Do you remember blah blah and I was like yeah and he goes look at this there's a news report of he tried to throw himself off a bridge fucking hell trying to fill that gap in it yeah yeah just fucking come on man like he's never seen that sort of guy mm. but yeah I suppose that if you can't find someone you don't want to be alone I was I was very like it I what I used to do is I used to get into a lot of relationships but it was purely because I couldn't make mind my mind up so then I would just go and things would overlap. I was a bit of a dog. And um, I would just be like, I'll make them my girlfriend. Because I didn't know what else to do in it. <laughs> 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 and then I'd be like, right, okay, I'm ha I've had enough now. And I'd just split up. I'd be so savage with the splitting up sometimes. It'd be bad. I'd just be like, send him a text saying we're done in it. <laughs> and stuff like that. See, I fucking, I would get trapped. I like, go. yeah yeah like I wouldn't I don't think I've ever in my entire life asked anyone out oh really yeah yeah I've always just we've been having loads of sex and then it's just sort of like I'm supposed to assume that we're now together yeah and then and then it just can't end like they just keep sucking me in because I'm such a pushover <laughs> even if they like I've had people like hit me and do horrible things to me and I still just sort of like oh yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, like, that's fine yeah whatever don't worry about it I think the main thing that you need to do Dan is just like just say have like instead of having like are we in a relationship just go are we exclusive now and that's basically saying yes we're in a relationship oh fucking exclusive I hate that that's what I'd be like it's so fucking it's easy for me to are say we... after years and years of being fucking with the same that's person. from um it's X on the beach, isn't it? Are we exclusive now? And I was just like, oh, I feel like my toes curling. Like, oh, why did you say that? Are we exclusive now. <laughs> no, can't, can't and you know, on X on the beach, they're never exclusive. <laughs> no. <laughs> Whoever's the next one's in, it's like, I'm going to have sex with everyone. Who's <laughs> that guy? He was like, uh, he goes to, oh yeah, we keep coming back together like every day. It, it, oh, it that means Sean something. guy, isn't it? Yeah. And then he goes. If one of my exes comes on here right now, she's done. <laughs> I've, I've, I've thrown her to the side. Any of my exes, doesn't matter who it is, she's gone. <laughs> I couldn't believe that guy because he, he, she'd be crying all day about him, and then yeah, he'd be like, "We're not together. We're not together. We don't mean anything." And then at the end of the night, he's back in her bed, and I was like, <sighs> yeah. "And that he's is why some brick. girls have sucking fucking like trust issues." Yeah, because of people like that. Mate, I could not go on X on the Beach. It would be... Well, it'd be a good show, but it'd be fucked. I'd end up Absolutely. committing a massacre. Yeah, yeah. Fuck no. I hate that. I, I mean, not a chance, but I don't want to see them with anyone else either. And I'm the sort of person as well that no door's closed. I think that's I think that's an ADHD thing. So like, as soon as I see him, I'd be like, we've got a chance of getting back together. <laughs> that'd be it then <laughs> <laughs> the doors only close when they they're with someone else or I'm with someone fucking hell if we're both single that's it even if it's doors been years yeah, yeah 
mate. Yeah, because like I said to you, like I don't. That's why me and you get on so well because there's no time difference, is there? No it's time like, lapse. Yeah. No, if I speak to you tomorrow, or I speak to you in a year. Is exactly that the same as what it is now? Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's the same thing with women. Like if we were dating, and she just turned up, I'd be like, "Oh, do you remember when we did this?" <laughs> Boom, it's come back again. <laughs> 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 train wreck I tell you man I'm fucking I'm a psychiatrist wet dream mate I could write a book about the fucked up things in my head that's why when we were talking about the question earlier from the listener I was like I would go full nuclear and just block everyone and not speak to anyone again and that would be the end of me because <laughs> that's that's my instant reaction is to go mental yeah the crazy comes out straight away and now nah, see I'm the opposite I would just lock away just be like, whoop, close the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now, I'm now, uh, what's that thing where they don't like to leave their house? Agrophobic. Agri- yeah, that's me now. <laughs> I don't like open spaces. Give me some money. <laughs> <laughs> I actually saw a TikTok about a woman that was complaining that she was, she, that's what she had. All oh, right. And that uh, the job center knew that she couldn't come down for face-to-face interviews because she can't leave the house. Yeah. And then the person that was with her case left. And then they're like, you need to come down. And she's like, I can't. And they're like, oh, we're going to stop your money then. And then she's showing, it says on her notes, I can't come down for blah, blah, blah. And they're like, no, you need to come down. Because they don't believe her, probably. Because they don't believe her, yeah. yeah. It's mental. There is probably some fuckers it. that probably try that. I can imagine that's like, like the likes of Frank Gallagher would try that. Saying a Gallagher, uh, that Scott is going down to see Liam in um, Milton Keynes. Oh, is he? And, I, and he is getting really irate. Which of the brothers do you would you say is more aggressive? More aggressive? Liam? Yeah. Yeah, oh yes, that's exactly what I said. But he likes Liam, he doesn't like Noel. So he's like... No, nah, no, nah, knows that he's like, oh, Liam's all peaceful now. He's a dad. I'm like, fuck off. Wasn't it Liam that had the problem with Lewis Capaldi? Yeah. Exactly. No, 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 goes... no, that was no. Oh, was it no? Yeah. No, but it's Liam is the one that's always starting fights. Liam's always been the like because Liam was the front man for years, wasn't he? He's always been the yeah, one yeah. that's more controversial. Yeah, yeah. Always starting on people getting drunk and being a nutter. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I rest my case, Scott. He's never going to listen to this, but I think I won that one. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Just because he's like, he's like, oh, I'm going to get you to pull this car over in a minute, Dan. We're going to have fallen out. I'm like, do whatever you like. You've already paid me the petrol money. You can get out if you like. That's what I was about to say. It's my car, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just because you're going down to Milton Keynes. <laughs> That's a long way to go for a gig, isn't it? From Scotland. No, nah, he's massive on that. He's the one that we have to listen to absolute 90s. I really? We listen to that for like three years. Because he works there. Is it 90? It must be in the 90s. Oasis was 90s, wasn't it? Oasis, yeah. That was like 90s. Early 90s. Yeah, yeah. So we had absolute 90s every single fucking day. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> and it says... It says... There's a guarantee that we'll never play the same song twice between oh, right, yeah. nine and five. Yeah. But only if you don't listen to the same station every single day. Yes. Yeah, because the same it's the exact song same fucking day. lineup. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, we throw in a new one every couple of hours. The guys at work do it as well. They listen to that. And it's all right for a little while. And then I have to start putting on podcasts because I start listening to the same like three Oasis tracks come on there all the time. Yeah. Just a matter. He's got the same hair as fucking Liam as well. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah. He's a proper <laughs> fanboy. What was that? I was talking to him about something and he was like, oh, you should go on Liam's clothing line. I'm like, what is it? Just full of puffer jackets. He's like, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> 100 percent There's going to be about 40 max on there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking Gallagher, man! I can't, I don't, I can't stand them. I'm not, I've never been an Oasis or a Coldplay or anything like that. I love Oasis, man. Oasis is a brilliant band, but Coldplay can. 
if I'm extremely drunk at a family party, I'll 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 sing Coldplay, and I somehow know all the words. I think it's then one of their newer ones that I didn't I didn't mind. Is it? Are they, are they got a new one? They did have a new one last year, I think. Yeah, it might be that one. But I've not listened to like if I was to be in a room by myself, Coldplay would probably be the last thing I have put on. Yeah, for sure. Madness is always the top one. Madness though. is brilliant, yeah. Bit of scar music. Yeah. You always gotta have madness on when you're with Jamie. <laughs> but I think we've gone on for quite a lot and I've got to go to bed, man. That's it may be a four day weekend, but I've still got about work tomorrow. <laughs> but hopefully between all of our ramblings we've uh, answered your question and uh you know, keep us up to date. If you go on another date, because you sound like a belter, if that, if that date's anything to go by. <laughs> Maybe uh, stay away from the wine on it if you go for a second date as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and whiskey is a bad one too, because that makes you really aggressive. Well, it does for me anyway. Yeah. Maybe stick to beer. Oh no, beer makes you really bloated. Just go, stick with water. Water's good. You'll be all right. <laughs> might, might also look like a weirdo. <laughs> What, drinking water on a first date? <laughs> no, you got to drive, didn't you? Yeah, I suppose. Oh, no. Well, yeah. We don't know where he's from. You can have one in, in the UK. Apple Tizer. You can't in... Um, Apple Tizer? Mm. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, I'm just having orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we hope, we, uh, we hope you have better luck in the future. It's, it can only get better from there. Remember, guys, we've just set up our Twitter... Um, and YouTube, so if you could like and subscribe to the YouTube and um, follow us on Twitter. What's the Twitter name, Dan? Is it just you at Two Men at No? Two Men No Hope, yeah. Yeah, Two Men No Hope podcast. You'll find us on there. And um, again, if you if you want to write in for any content ideas or yeah, anything. If you're in a in a bar having an argument with your mate drop us a message if you're having an argument with your wife or your husband and you want someone to take a side drop it in we're willing we're to do that do it. we're willing yeah, absolutely. to do that <laughs> we'll take your side whoever emails in is your side wins <laughs> <laughs> anyway that's it from me and me right. thank fuck <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.